Hi, I'm Ellen Schwartzel, Ontario's Acting Environmental Commissioner. And this week, our office released our annual report on Ontario's greenhouse gas emissions. It's our job to let the legislature and the Ontario public know every year how Ontario is doing on its greenhouse gas emission reduction targets. In our report, we provide a sector by sector analysis of how every part of Ontario society is contributing to greenhouse gas emission reductions, including transportation, buildings, industry, agriculture, and so on. And we also provide a bit of our own perspective and analysis on that, uh, those trends. Let me tell you a little bit more about Ontario's greenhouse gas emission reduction trends. Ontario has about 13 million people living in, in our province today. And um, we have a growing population, we have a growing economy. And here is an interesting thing, which is that even with a growing population and a growing economy, our emissions, our greenhouse gas emissions, have actually dropped by about 6% compared to 1990 levels when we had about 3 million fewer people. So that's a really encouraging sign because it shows that over time our economy has become much more energy efficient. The thing is that we need to do much more as a society to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions in the future. We have more uh, stringent, more challenging targets coming up and We'll need to focus on finding, being innovative and, and, and working with each other to find creative ways to reduce those emissions. And I'm going to draw your attention especially to two sectors that are important and challenging for Ontario. Our transportation sector, so cars and trucks, how we get around, and also our buildings, how we heat and cool our buildings. Our trends over time are for increasing emissions in both those sectors. So those are our challenge areas, and, and that's what we really need to address to, to meet the target for the year 2020, which is only five years away. You can learn more about our report at our website at eco.on.ca.